uh, carried an M1 Garand then. That was a, strictly a bolt action rifle, right? In addition to the radio. Yeah. When we got on patrol at night, I, I carried the radio. <clears throat> but when they uh, pulls back off the main line yeah. for a little rest, like a week, uh, I put the, um, they would issue me and Probably six other guys. Uh, radios to carry out on patrol. We take we take a t t uh, turns going out at night on radio. Uh, so uh, and when we pull back off the line, uh, we'd set our tents up. Back there, we was we're supposed to get out two weeks or two a month rest uh, in the tent. Uh, so I got to, uh, they put us guys carried the little ham small radios, like battery weighed more than the radio did. <clears throat> they issue a, a tent for us to go into, and we set up a, a little small switchboard that would run to all communication uh, that was immediate to me to us, and uh, <clears throat> so. All we have to do is set the take turns, sit there in front of the switchboard. And uh, when it rang, well, then we had to answer it. And somebody would say, uh, so, so, so. Uh, most of them wanted, were higher officers and we would talk to the captain of our game. So, if you chase another cat, she's probably not going to make it back. One of us, somebody had to go over and uh, holler at the, at the captain and say, you got, uh, you got a call, sir. And um, he come over there. And uh, so that was the way we had our hour, so called. But, uh, I was uh, I was lucky, I guess. I only had to go out probably half a dozen times at nighttime. For that's when I got that war beauty to be in wall in there. Uh, <clears throat> so we come back on patrol. And take care of the wound that they got wounded there. And um <clears throat> and uh so we we sit down for a little rest, maybe for another week. Nancy? 